tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, Hey guys, well we're in North Carolina today. We're gonna to be fishing some stripers with some fire dyed shad. Um, so what we got here is we got four bottles. We filled up this bucket with four bottles of water. So we use this bottle, fill it up four times. Already got the water in there. And we're gonna use one bottle of fire dye for four bottles of water. So it's real important guys. I mean these shad are very fragile. You gotta make sure you have the aerator on them or else, you know, cause you're not gonna use a lot of water so the dye really has a chance to get in on the baits. And we're just gonna do a quick soak here. So I'm just gonna add this bottle of dye. We got a couple shad in there, but we're gonna add a bunch here in a second. So like I said, four bottles of water to one bottle of dye. Keep your aerator on them. The aerator's a must. If you don't have the aerator, these fragile baits are gonna die. Um, so yeah, four bottles of water to one bottle of dye. That's all there is to it. Quick soak, super simple. So we've had this shad in the dye for about 15 minutes or so, just a real quick soak. You know, they're sensitive fish, so we don't want to leave them in there for too long. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what they look like. And this is just after 15 minutes, they're still really alive. I mean, if you want some more color, you can obviously leave them in there. But that's what he looks like after 15 minutes, and that's all rinsed off. You can see he's crazy shit. alive. A little swim around. Sure. There. I don't know if you're going to... Here he goes. Yeah. All right, let's take the rest over. Yep. So we're just gonna transport these guys into some clean water. And uh, you know, obviously you can do this at your house and you know, use a couple different buckets and transport them through. That way you don't have any dye in your boat or anything if you're worried about it getting on carpet or something. So, and that, that color will stay on them, you know, until the minnow is, uh, until he's eating. And these are about the one of the more sensitive baits there are out there, guys. So that just goes to show you that this works on everything. I mean, if it works on these shad, it'll work on anything. <laughs> 